Hi, my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of What's New in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. So tonight I am coloring in Spooky Sweets Coloring Book by Carla Majanya. She has a YouTube channel and this is the second time she's done a buddy color slash color along. Um, a couple, last month or the month before we got to vote on either this page with the candy or the cotton candy moth and the cotton candy moth one. I don't know why there's streaks of light. It's got to be the woods out back because I have lights on everywhere. So just bear with me. <clears throat> So, Carla only has 300 subscribers on her YouTube channel. She's young, she's funny, she loves um, Halloween, it's her favorite holiday, whatever. She makes her own costumes. She's just, a lot of times she just does speed coloring, but lately she's done a few where she's coloring chat. And today she put one up, well, to, by the time you see this, this will be Saturday, but... Friday, yesterday, she put um, the video up of her color in this. And I liked the colors that she used, but I'm changing it up a little bit. wonder if I need the at light on. She also has a Facebook group. And I will put the link down below along with her YouTube channel. This is her only coloring book for now. Does that help? She has a new coloring book coming out, I think September 5th. And it has to do with gardens. I'm not sure if it's evil gardens, but it's gardens anyways. So I am going to do her hair and this in pinks and purples and um, yeah so I'm also not sure how I'm going to do her face. Let's see. Like I said. I am not sure how long she's been making videos, but she only has 300 subscribers. Go pay her a visit. She loves watercolors. She loves working with watercolors. And Prisma colored pencils, but she does a lot of watercolor. And she sells her artwork. She did a color lawn slash buddy color a few months ago. And I did that one too along with Jen from Reading with Pugs. I think Jen's doing this one too. I forgot to put this in between. Oh, come on. You can order this book from Amazon. I'm not sure if you can order it from her also, but I know you can get it from Amazon. That's where I got this.
Let's see what other color. Let's see a little lavender. I think that this is going to need a little bit of stickles on it too, like on these dots. Or glitter gel pens. Gotta have a little something. If you leave comments on her videos, she will answer back. If you post her pictures on Instagram and you tag her, she will answer back. But yeah, I can't wait to see the next book that she puts out. She is a graphic designer full-time for some company and does this when she has extra time. So how many of you have this coloring book? And have you colored in it? I did the last Buddy Color Color Lawn, like I said, and I did, I believe, a Buddy Color in this with Jen, and I did another Buddy Color with Janice Tucci. She's in my Facebook group.
So yesterday's video, I was talking about my pets. And I didn't get to Pearl. Pearl was Dylan and Amber's cat. She has Maine Coon in her. I do not believe she's purebred. She doesn't have the tufts coming out from the top of her ears. But she does have a lot of the other traits of a Maine Coon. Anyways, they got her from a lady who had cats. I think she's a rescue place. And Amber had gotten her as a kitten. And one day I got a phone call from Justin or from Dylan, sorry, that I needed to come rescue her because he was going to shoot her. What happened was Carson had gotten into the cat litter box. Yeah, and I'm not going to tell you what he was doing. But he got into the cat litter box, and so Dylan and Amber had set Blake down on their bed. He was only a couple months old. He wasn't very old. And the cat was laying there. But they they were trying to get a hold of Carson, so they just laid Blake on the bed. Well, Blake started crying and flailing his arms. And the cat dug the top of his head. Which at the time, Dylan thought the cat had attacked him. Hence why Dylan wanted me to come get the cat before he killed him. Killed her. So I went with my cat carrier and got her. And she hid in my house for a couple days. She wasn't used to a dog, so she really hated the dog. So when Scott got up to go to work, I told him what happened, and he's like, we don't need another cat. I said, I know. Well, we can't keep her. I said, I'm just telling you what happened. I saved her. After having her for a few weeks... I told Dylan she did not attack Blake on purpose. The cat has extra claws, thumbs, whatever you want to call them. And being that she was a kitten, she has huge paws. She did not have control over those claws. I cannot tell you how many times my legs got dug up that summer, last summer. Because she would start to fall and she would use the claws and dig them in my legs to climb back up me. Because she lost balance. So I think what happened after being with her for a couple weeks is that when Blake started to scream, it scared her. And she was right there by his head. I think she got the claws stuck in the 
comforter and she couldn't get purchase of anything and I think that's how he got scratched because she was by his head so I told Dylan I don't think it was done on purpose so after a couple months Scott said they're not getting her back she ended up being friends with the dog. She was happy here because she didn't like Carson. In fact, when Carson comes over, she'll hide for hours. We It takes a couple hours after he's left here for her to come out of hiding. So that is how we ended up with Pearl. She is a very lovey cat. And I'm glad that we got her because she would be miserable at their house. Since then, they've gotten a couple other kittens that are now a couple of them are cats. But she can be mean to my other cats. She wants to be the dominant one in this house. And sometimes I have to yell at her because she picks on my oldest cat. And she's funny because when she's playful, if you walk by her, she will reach out and dig her claws into your clothes to stop you. <laughs> so that's how we ended up with Pearl. So if Dylan or Amber come over without Carson, she will let them pet her. So if they happen to stop over here without the boys, they always ask, where's Pearl? And she'll let them pet her. I've never owned any birds. I think that they belong outside. They're beautiful. I am not one to own one in the house. Um, I've had gerbils and hamsters and I had a guinea pig. I loved my guinea pig. Dylan's had a couple hamsters. They got loose in the house somewhere. We never saw them again.
Dylan's had turtles. The one died because the pet store did not know what they were talking about. We asked all the right questions. Do we need this? Do we need that? Nope, it'll be fine. Well, it wasn't fine. He told us what to feed it and never ate. So, then he had, I don't know if he had two turtles. Justin, he had a fish for a couple years. And Dylan had a guinea pig. Then he ended up getting rid of her. I loved her. So yes, we are animal people. If I had a nice house, I would love a, and had the money, I'd love a salt water aquarium. I think the fish are gorgeous. I always wanted an iguana growing up and my father said that I could not have one. He said I can have one when I get my own place. Well that's a lie because Scott said that I couldn't have one either. I don't know what my fascination was with them for about 10 years. I had a fascination with them. I don't know why. And then, of course, as a little girl, I wanted a horse. But... As an adult, I didn't. And I don't know if I want another dog after this. You know, when you leave and do things, they have to be let out. The cats are easier. They have clean litter box. Scott seems to think I would always need a dog. I don't know. <laughs> this is cute. Cotton candy hair.
and then I've been watching the Weather Channel with Hurricane Harvey. I don't know if there's any of you in the path. I'll pray for you. Doesn't look good for anybody in Corpus Christi. I have had a scratchy throat since Wednesday night. It's now Friday night. A little bit of congestion in my nose. I think it's just sinuses. We were in the 80s and now we're in the 60s. So it's been damp out. Crappy weather. Sun's out. We had storms the other day. Dylan wanted me to party with him tonight. He brought home a great big bottle of Jack Daniels, which is my favorite. I'm like, nope, not happening. So he said, well, I think you should do a shot before you leave the house. He says, you're only driving six minutes. It won't hit you till you get home. I'm like, nope. I know it'll probably kill whatever's ailing me. I told him maybe tomorrow when I, I got to babysit tomorrow, so. She, it's her last Saturday class. Woohoo! Can start sleeping in again on Saturdays. I forgot to tell you in yesterday's video, <laughs> Carson was, he's so funny. He, uh, we were sitting watching TV. Blake was taking a nap. And Carson says, what time is it? I said, I don't know. Let me look. So I looked. He said, it's two o'clock. He says, okay. I said, uh, why? Do you have a date? He says, yes. Oh, he's three years old. I said, with who? And he says, my friends. I don't know who he had a date with. He's funny. <laughs> His new thing is, I don't want to. Yeah. I tell him to do something. I don't want to. You're going to do it anyways. I don't want to. Mima always wins. I don't know why he just doesn't go and do what I tell him to. Because he knows he's going to lose. He dumps all his toys out 
in the middle of his bedroom floor and won't clean. It took us five hours to get him to clean his room yesterday, or me. Was it yesterday? I think so. No, Wednesday. Five hours. Clean that room. Said if you didn't dump all your toys in the middle of the floor and you just got out the toy you want to play with, put it away and get another toy, you wouldn't have to clean this. And he sits in his room and cries and cries and cries. So that takes him even longer because he can't stop crying. Now, I'm not yelling at him. I'm just telling him, you got to pick up these toys. And then Wednesday, also Amber's brother had spent the night Tuesday night. So he was there all day Wednesday. Uh, he's like 13 years old. 14, right around there. And they went out and played his little baseball set out in the side yard. This was fine. They were done. Everything's still out there. Then I noticed Carson doesn't have his sneakers on. I said, Carson, where are your sneakers? And he points out where the baseball and stuff is. I said, you need to go pick them up. And he starts crying, I don't want to. Yep, this is going to be a new saying in the house. I can see that. But Mima doesn't care if he doesn't want to. He took, was in Blake's room, threw all of Blake's toys in the middle of the floor. Why should Blake have to clean up his room? He didn't do it. Deciding if I want to think that because it's still cotton candy, so I think I'm going to still do that in the same colors. And how long is this? 34 minutes. Okay. The only thing I had a problem with with Dylan was he would be in his room as a toddler and empty all his clothes out of the drawers of his dresser. I have no idea why, but I got tired of constantly folding them and putting them away, so he had to start putting them away. I don't care if they didn't get folded. Does anybody have any plans for this weekend? Scott has mandatory overtime tonight, so it's just me here. Justin has this weekend off, and he is hanging out with his best friend tonight. And I'm not feeling all that great. I don't feel like cooking. So, I have some 
leftover salmon, brown rice, and green beans from dinner last night, so I'll probably have that. I had taken that for my lunch today, but I wasn't real hungry. And I had the munchies, but I'm not supposed to have chips, so Scott bought me Triscuit, tr Triscuit crackers. So I think they're better for me than chips anyway, so I love them. So he got me Garden Herb and Smoky Gouda flavor. So I'll probably munch on them. Ian is on at 7 tonight. Remember, this is Friday night when I'm doing this. She said she's going to be live on YouTube at 7. So I will go in and chat and watch that. And then I think I'm going to bed early again. Between the stress of Ruby being sick this week and the boys, they're just into everything. And coming down with sinuses or cold, I have been going to bed at 9 o'clock. I don't know what happened to me. I used to be a night owl, even when I worked full time. Need some water. But Ruby is doing better. Scott said she ate almost all her food this morning. She's been drinking a lot of water again. And last night when I was sleeping, I had um, just gotten comfortable in bed and she came in and touched me because she wanted to go under the covers. She likes to snuggle under the covers and she was purring away. And yep, this is my cat. She's feeling better. Poor thing. So, Saturday when I get home from babysitting, um, I gotta give the dog a bath, and then they're all getting treated with flea medicine. And I will probably have the weather channel on a lot tonight. I wanted to do my nails, but I'll probably do those tomorrow night. So I won't have to go to bed early. Because I like to um, 
take two hours with my nails so that they dry well in between each coat and they are thoroughly dry before I get into bed because if I don't I end up with these lines on them from the fabric of the comforter. I'm not sure what color I'm going to do them. I also need to get Target. I need an ink for my printer. And I got to see if Scott has a little bit of extra to get me some cardstock because I'm all out of that too. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think here will be yellow and green. And this will be done gray and my yellow stars. This will be brown. And then I think I'll do a light blue out. Just a smudge of blue around. But I'm liking it. Not sure what color her eyes will be. Maybe a an amethyst type color. So I'm going to finish coloring that. I don't know if I'll color it while watching Anne or if I'll finish it before that and color on. I need to finish that buddy color I've been doing with Katrina. She finished hers. Usually I'm the one that finishes my buddy colors first. But it was a two page spread. And I normally would be doing that now, but this started today, so I wanted to get it at least started. I know. Hmm. Yep, I like it. It's 
like I said, this artist is nice. She's funny. She has a new coloring book coming out in September. And I think you should check her out. She loves Halloween. So, yep, I will put her link for her YouTube channel down below and her Facebook group. And I'm going to say goodbye to my peepers for now. And stay tuned for another episode of What's New in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. Bye!